All seemed well in the Hanover household with Sophia's son producing an heir to electorate but unbeknown the family were brewing, and Sophia's had relented in her son's marriage to Sophia Dorothea of Sel, despite her reservations. Eventually though, Sophia fears would come to fruition in 1694, when it was discovered that Sophia Dorothea was having an affair with a Swedish count called, Philip Christoph von Konigsmark. Eventually, this would lead to George divorcing his wife. Sophia would meet with her cousin, King William III of England whilst visiting the Netherlands in September 1700. Their meeting at Hedloo Palace in Apple Dawn was seen as a turning point in British history. At this time, William III had already been a widower for six years with no legitimate heir. Also, the next in line to the English throne, his sister-in-law, Queen Anne, had no heir after her only surviving child Prince William. Duke of Gloucester had passed away two months earlier. The following year the English Parliament would declare Sophia in the line of succession when they passed the Act of Settlement 1701. This would declare, Sophia, as a Protestant, the next in line to the throne after William and Anne, should neither produce an legitimate heir. At this time Sophia was still an active 70-year-old and in far better health than Queen Anne. She also had at this time alive, five children three three great-grandchildren, thus creating a solid line of succession to the throne. One issue remained. At this time, the Stuart monarchs of England were also the monarchs in Scotland. Should Sophia inherit the throne, the act passed by the English government would only make her Queen of England and not Scotland. So in 1706-1707 the Treaty of Union was drawn up to unify the English and Scottish monarchs and make Sophia heir to both. A fearful government had attempted to bring Sophia to London whilst Anne was still on the throne. Their fear was based that James Francis Edward Stuart, Anne's Catholic half-brother who had a claim to the throne as the son of the deposed James II, was considerably to England than she was. The government was worried that James could move to England to stake his claim to throne quickly after Anne's death and before Sophia could be brought to the country. The plan though was eventually shelved as Anne was strongly opposed to a rival court be set up in the country whilst she was still alive. It seems presumptuous that although Ben names Anne's successor, there would remain great rivalry and distrust between the two women. Sophia would receive an angry letter from Anne on 5 June 1714 whilst she was walking in the gardens at Herrenhausen. During this walk, Sophia would suddenly be taken ill. The three days later when out for another walk, she would run to take shelter in a thunderstorm, when she collapsed and died. She was 83 years old at the time of her death, for this time it was considered a great age and also showed what good health Sophia was in. If Sophia had lived to inherit the English throne, she would have become the oldest person to inherit the crown. Within two months, Queen Anne would pass away at the age of 49 on 1 August 1714. The English crown would pass to Sophia's oldest son, who became King George I of Great Britain. Sophia would be buried in Hanover in the Liner Palace. Both her husband and her eldest son, King George I would be buried in the family mausoleum with her. The mausoleum would be damaged in air raids during the Second World War. After which the remains of Sophia, her husband Ernest Augustus and her son would all be moved in 1957 to the Berggarten of Herrenhausen Gardens in 1957.